Okay, so right now I am editing a video to show the speed difference between two hard drives. So what I need is a timer to track which of them is the fastest. The first thing I am going to do is create a new track and I will insert a text media object in it. There's no need for the text to say anything. This item will just be the element where our timer will be placed. Now I click on tools, video, then media effects. Here we have the list of effects. The one we want is on the folder named Utility. It's called Vegas Timecode. We enable it, and as you can see, a timer has appeared on my video. The timer can be modified to only show seconds, to count frames, or to adapt to different frame rates. This will depend on your use case. After setting a timer for the first time, it may happen that yours only counts up to 5 seconds, then restarts. If this is the case for you, you can go to the text media where your timer is placed and edit it by clicking the media generator icon. As you can see, there is a duration attribute which you should edit to be longer than the time you are going to be counting to. For example, if you want to count to 30 seconds, you can set that to a minute. In my case, I have set it for 1 hour and 5 seconds. I now have my timer working, however, you may notice that it goes from milliseconds to days. In my case, I will only be counting up to 2 minutes, so showing hours and days is unnecessary. To fix this, we can open the video crop tool and mark the mask checkbox. Then we can choose the rectangle shape and mark around the zone of the screen where the timer would be. We select it in a way that the numbers that represent hours and days cannot be seen. Our timer looks nicer now. Ok, I have now created another timer, by copying the first one I did. This is because for this video I will need a timer for each one of the hard drives I am testing. The problem is, I don't want the timers to go on forever, I want them to stop as soon as the PC turns on. So I will click the element where my timer is contained, as you may remember it's a text box. Then I will insert an envelope. The type of envelope I want to insert is a freeze frame at cursor envelope. This envelope is shown as a green line on top of my timeline. Each dot on it represents a stopping or starting point. As you can see, as the video reaches this point, the timer stops, as it should. I don't like that my video ends there, I'd like to freeze the last frame so that we may see the screen until the end. No worries, envelopes work just the same on video. We create our envelope and make our video freeze right where we want it to stop. Now our video on the left keeps going while the right one is frozen, but you can still see the results. That has been all for today, thank you for watching.